Monday night, Michigan U.S. Senate candidates Alyssa Slotkin and Mike Rogers took the debate stage for a second time in just a week. Topics they discussed range from immigration on the southern border to our economy here in the state. So joining us to share more on their thoughts on that debate, we've got Congresswoman Hillary Skolton representing Michigan's 3rd District. Good morning. We always appreciate your time. We know you're also busy on the campaign trail in the last few weeks of this election. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about her performance last night. I actually sat down with Alyssa last week at a prayer breakfast. A big topic there was uh, kind of the notion that a lot of black voters in Michigan are starting to lean Republican or exploring the Republican side. In last night's debate, do you feel like she did enough to reach to that group uh, in her performance? You know, I think regardless of uh, your race, your gender, your socioeconomic status, this election is going to be based on someone's record, right? There's a lot of spin in politics. And um, I think it's really important now more than ever that we look at what people have done and uh, as, as a strong indicator of what they're going to do. Anyone can say something in the heat of the moment, uh, in the, the, you know, the agitated state of a, of a political campaign. But looking at what people have done and where they've delivered is what's going to be critical. Um, both Alyssa Slotkin and Mike Rogers have records. Uh, and when it comes to some of the most critical issues facing West Michigan, you know, I think Alyssa Slotkin's record stacks up much stronger than Rogers any day of the week. You know, listen, I've endorsed Alyssa uh, for Senate. I think she would do a great job. But I watched that debate last night with the eye of an, an open-minded West Michigan voter. It's how I was raised. I can't shake it. And Mike Rogers is smooth. He's, he's actually a, a really good debater. But there's a lot that he's not saying, right? He's not saying he won't stand up to Project 2025. He's not saying he won't protect a woman's right to make her own reproductive choices. And those are some of the top issues that matter to voters here in West Michigan. This is, this is an election that is going to be about competence. You know, Michiganders are tired of people spinning things and then just going out and doing nothing for them. You know, Alyssa has a record of delivering and getting things done for West Michigan, like an infrastructure law that's bringing jobs and better roads to West Michigan. Mike Rogers has sold out to the big drunk drug companies and over time, you know, has taken over 50 votes to make access to reproductive health care tougher for women. Well, last hour we uh, spoke with Pete Hookstra. He says he believes Mike Rogers really needs to focus on the economy in this final push uh, towards November 5th. What do you feel like Alyssa really needs to focus on, you know, to get maybe those moderate middle ground voters? Yeah, you know, I, I think she has to come down to the, the very core uh, elements of what's at stake in our democracy. We see a lot of West Michigan voters here who are saying, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a lifetime Republican. I feel like the Republican Party has left me, not the other way around. It's given in to extremism. She needs to remind them that, you know, she is a middle of the road voter. Um, I think she's doing just that. She's got the record to prove it. She's like the fifth most bipartisan member of both the House and the Senate. Uh, again, record speaks for itself. Um, and, and remind them that, you know, she's going to be there, whether you come on the right or the left, uh, she's going to be there for them. And, and her record really speaks for itself there. She's got a great record on the economy. Voters here in West Michigan also know it's far too soon that we lost access to reproductive care. It was hanging in the balance until we codified uh, our, our constitutional amendment protecting Roe versus Wade here at home. But that can be taken away with a nationwide abortion ban. You know, Mike Rogers has a record that shows he's been willing to do that. Women shouldn't trust him. A lot of topics affecting Michigan voters in three weeks. Until now, we'll see where they stand on both those candidates. Uh, Hillary Skolton joining us, Representative. We appreciate your time, and uh, we'll be uh, putting those uh, uh, online as well.